Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. It sure has been warm the past couple of days. We've been talking about flirting with those records and today we shattered them in some areas like San Francisco and in the Bay Area, San Jose as well. The previous record in San Francisco was 70 degrees. Previous record in Half Moon Bay was 71. Yeah, Half Moon Bay had quite a toasty day considering it is early February. King City, 83. Previous record was 82. Yeah, sometimes it gets warm down there, but not as warm as 83 degrees. Look at this, 84 earlier this afternoon in Scotts Valley, lots of 70s even up in the mountains. And then as the sun goes down, yeah, it's chilling down just a little bit. 80 degrees in our coastal areas as well as in some of the valleys. You can see only 77 in Hollister, actually a little cooler there. San Juan Bautista, one of the warmest spots at 84 earlier today. 85 in Soledad as well, and then lots of mid to low 80s. And look at that, the Monterey Peninsula, even in the mid 70s all across the area. Some upper 70s even in Marina and Seaside and 81 in Carmel Valley. As you take a look at your winds, they are getting a little on the lighter side right now. They are coming off of the water and looks like we are going to see that shifting by later this evening. And that's going to keep our temperatures on the mild side once again. Temps right now compared to yesterday for the most part, a little bit warmer. A few areas like Salinas, four degrees cooler right now, but overall everyone was a little warmer today by just a few degrees. Tomorrow I think we're going to be in the same range. Now right now temperatures are still rather warm. Look at that, 68 right now in Gilroy, 67 still at the six o'clock hour in Santa Cruz, but as I mentioned the sun's going down. Of course it's going to chill down just a little bit, but really not too chilly. Even look at that in Lake Tahoe. Oh, 43 right now and still 80 degrees in Palm Springs with the sundown. So unseasonable warmth for basically just California. <laughs> Everyone else a little chilly. Look at that negative temperatures up in Bismarck and Minneapolis. We've been talking about Minneapolis. We've been showing you video. Yeah. They had some snowfall and you can see that coming through earlier this morning. Finally, that is going to lift out of there. You're going to see some cooler air mass going their way, though. You can really see behind that system a cold Arctic air mass going to be impacting most of the northern and eastern part of the U.S. But as for us, we're going to be on the warm side. High pressure across the area. That's going to keep us warm all the way through your upcoming week. Really doesn't look like it's going to budge much. You can see as we go through the rest of the weekend, this front up towards our north and our west, it's going to stay that way and move that way. And any rainfall looks like it's even going to stay north of the Oregon border. Most of the rain is staying well towards our north. So quiet weather for all of your weekend and as we go into the rest of your eight day forecast. Forecast low temperatures early tomorrow morning, similar to this morning. We did get down to low 40s in some areas, and I think that's going to be possible in some of our cooler spots, mid to low 40s. For the San Francisco Bay Area, tomorrow, as I mentioned, similar temperatures earlier today at SFO got up to 76, so maybe not as hot in some of the San Francisco areas, but for us, we're going to be within a few degrees of where you were earlier today. Capitola, Aptos, Santa Cruz, and beach communities pushing 80 degrees, and there you can see 80 degrees possible for some of our inland valleys as well. King City possibly at 82. So so as I mentioned, maybe a few degrees shy of where we were today, but either way, I mean, 70s, 80s, middle of winter. Yeah, it <laughs> looks like it's going to be staying that way. Oh no. If you notice, we have a new graphic system, and I think I just got a little trigger happy there, so we're going backwards. There you go. High temperatures for your eight days, record warmth above average, lots of 80s, maybe some 60s and 70s by the end. And here are your low temperatures. I'll do it in order for you. <laughs> Average low is 42. And looks like we're going to be sitting above that with 40s and 50s all week long. <laughs>